hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i got this style i really like it i didn't use any like tinted spray on my lace and it's really heating i think i did this install a little bit differently than i usually do but i tried some new techniques and i really liked them i didn't use any tinted spray on my lace and i'm excited to see how it holds up it's looking pretty fucking good so shout out to the hd lace this unit was sent to me by Syria Hair, and they are sponsoring today's video, so thank you to them. I'm going to this style up. I feel cute. If you want to see how you can get this style, go ahead and keep watching it, and we can get into it. All I got to say is, Mwah! and you already know who it is. <laughs> so I recorded the beginning of this video using my AirPods, you know, the new ones, the thick ones, the ones that come in a thick case, you know. Why it sound like I'm recording on a calculator? I'm leaving a voicemail for somebody. It's not bad. So, um, I'm leaving it though for sure. It's like it's like three three minutes of great content. So I'm I'm giving it to you. Just gotta look past. Just um, close your eyes and imagine I'm just leaving you a really long voicemail, but I didn't mean to call you. And like you just listen to in me talking to somebody about my wig, you know? Just close your eyes and imagine that. Like I'm, I'm but I'm talking to you on a calculator as well. So just think that while while, you, while I'm doing this for the next three, four minutes after this. <laughs> I promise the rest of the video is going to sound crystal clear like this. But you know there is going to be these three, four minutes while I'm talking to you on a calculator. But stick it through. It's going to get better. The video is comedy gold. I promise. <laughs> so keep on watching. Y'all love how I noticed that I don't be um, showing y'all the cap construction. And then I started showing y'all the cap construction. Y'all love how I started doing that. I do too. I'm really proud of myself about that. Now when will I give y'all this fucking tutorial? That is another story, but look at something I accomplished instead, right, right? Here is the wig. This is the unit from Asteria Hair. It's a loose wave, I believe. But if it's not that exact texture, the exact texture will be linked in the description box. And I, I'm going to start off right now with the new techniques. Bam. I'm at a little curve with the um, rat tail comb. As you can see, when I pull it up and clip it away, you're going to see how I left a lot more lace than I usually do. Sometimes I would just do a straight diagonal, but this, as you're going to see in a second, is literally like an, an S. <laughs> not really, but like, it's not straight across anymore. It's a, it's like a little slight curve so that it lays better and covers more um, hair on my side of my hair, duh, my head, <laughs> so that, um, you know, it lay better and it, it just like, it doesn't, you know, I don't know. It just lays better. I don't really feel like getting into the specifics about it. But that little curve thing situation is a lot better. Because as you can see, like, my ear is literally hugged up in it instead of just it being a straight shot. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but that's what I used to do. I don't do that no more. I make a conscious effort to make it a little S now. That was a lot of description. You see, that's why I'm just real visual. Like, boom, look at me do it. Bam, it happened, you know? Now, you know, my two slits, we're going to push it to the back and get ready to hit this glue. But before we hit the glue, we gotta push the wig all the way back. I'm a little too ahead of myself. Let me get the wig back. Oh, oh, with the wig back? Yes, it is. Got the hold me down active skin guard, adhesive skin guard. I mean, I put that on a little cotton round, and I went. I made sure I didn't get hardly any makeup on my forehead, and I tried to get it off the side before I installed. And then usually I use my even tinted lace spray on the lace but I decided that sometimes like I noticed my installs don't last as long when I do that because of like the oils in the spray and the makeup I think I've seen that on um hair diagrams tiktok or higher diaphragm hair diagrams tiktok she's amazing she's a hairstylist she's one of them old school hairstylists that know what they talk about I live for them I respect them so I'm gonna listen to what she's saying. She said, "Don't put no makeup under your lace." She also told me, "If y'all some kick some uh, the natural hair girlies, you know, for underneath your wigs." She also told me, to, you know, she told me personally in her TikTok. Personally, she didn't talk to all the thousands of followers she had. She talked. She told me, you know, she had told me that um, when you leave conditioner on your hair, it like damages it. Who who would have thought that? I'm over here leaving this conditioner on my hair like it's beneficial. The whole time my hair is dying. But anyway, as you can see just thin, I got a thin layer of glue. I'm going to make sure that's completely dry before I hit that second layer. And you're going to see me touch it to make sure. But, you know, make sure that's dry before you get done so that you can ensure that your glue, your second layer dries evenly as well. When you don't completely dry the first layer, it makes it a little harder for the second layer to dry completely. So just make sure that you're letting your layers dry, except for the second layer. Of course, you want that to be just the slightest bit tacky so that you can't apply the lace. But you don't want it to be, you know, white. 
Now, whoever just listened to the video for the past three minutes, you know, I'm going to be that person who's the YouTuber that says the audio was bad. And you sitting there as the, the watcher of the video, like, I ain't even noticed the audio was bad. But here I am to call it out. Yeah, my audio was just terrible just then. So hopefully this is a lot better, but I'm not going back and redoing that because that was real authentic and original. But I just pulled this, this frontal down on that piece of glue and just made sure that the sides was aligned where they needed to be so that there could be no ripples. And also, another technique I got for you. I'm throwing out so many gems in here. I hope y'all are taking notes. Like, because I'm not going to have no notes for you in the description box. You got you to, gotta, you know, I ain't going to have no time stamp. You got you to gotta pay attention. Let's open them ears up. <laughs> this big game to y'all. Can you tell I'm off an edible? I'm really trying to be chill, calm, and collected. But I really feel like I got so much to say right now. So I guess that's going to go in the title. Boom. Can you tell I'm doing this video off an edible? What was my point? The point was that when you go ahead and get your wig tight as possible in the back with the extra little clips in the back, you know, you get it tight as possible, the ripples are like less likely to happen unless like it's some tugging situation. But I do notice that when the my wig is tied tighter in the back, it does lay the way it needs to lay. So that's a little trip to, uh, little tidbit as well. Also, you're going to see how this wig is laying. I have these sideburns a little longer than I usually would because of how I cut the lace. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell the difference, but it really is something different. I like the way it makes sure that, you know... I don't have any of my hair poking out as I don't have a ball cap on. Here's this edge melt band that came in the box. I just wanted to address, since I'm here talking about it and I'm being authentic and real, somebody commented on a video and said that they didn't receive the 13 by 4 shirt across wig like I am. I would really hope that Asteria is, um, you know, providing you guys with the, the wigs that you see me receive as this is the reason why I put them on my channel in the first place as I would hope that they are doing their due diligence as I have found the hair to be enjoyable and hope that you guys would too as well. But um, the only thing I can say to suggest that you can ensure that you're getting what you're paying for is going ahead and emailing customer service and um, letting them know like your order number, like, hey, I'm really expecting this 13 by 4 straight across wig like I had seen in this video. I mean, if you got my name out there, like, go ahead for sure. I mean, if they're selling this unit, um, go ahead and let them know I've seen this video and this is not, this is, I just want to make sure that, I just want to ensure that this is the unit that I'm getting, you know, go ahead and do that. But, um, you know, either way, the hair is really beautiful and the lace is popping so, um, just, you know, make sure you're, you're watching what you're buying, for sure. If the, if the description on the pictures, you know, don't say, or don't show 13 by 4 straight across, you know, the reviews don't say that, you know, just be mindful of what you're buying. But, um, as you can see here, I'm just pulling back the lace and, um, getting the excess glue in there and the little crevices where I didn't get it stuck down, and I'm pushing it down with my fingers. I be feeling like, uh, so Char, because she be using her fingers the whole entire install. You know how I use my eyebrow razor for the glue? She'd be like, I'm going to rub this glue on my fingers. And you know what? Respect to her. She got a baby. Y'all know she a great mom. <laughs> just off that. <laughs> Enough of me high talking too much. Um, I just did something really cool. I went ahead and sprayed that Eden spray on the back of this edge brush and then pushed it in with it. So I just use a lot less spray in the process. So it's a lot less product buildup. Therefore, a longer install because, you know, I think when my hair gets, you know, a little like, what the fuck is going on? What is on top of my skin? You know, oils up and it's like, I don't want this on here no more. Like it repels it. So I think with less product, like in, in insinuates like a longer install to me. And I'm sitting here on install day three and my wig is on. And usually on day three, I'm like, I'm ready to get this bad boy off, but I'm really feeling like I could rock this hell. I was about to call this wig a hoe. Like, what did this wig do to me? I'm ready to walk this, <laughs> rock this wig for like another two or three days. So that's really exciting. So I really enjoyed the way I went about installing this a little bit differently. And I really think all those steps I was talking about earlier, if, in between all the, the jabbering I was doing, um, I think those really helped to ensure a really long-lasting and beautiful install. And of course, if you do need to add makeup on your lace, I heard, I, I've not I've heard, I've seen some people do it on top of the lace or just tinting the lace in general so that there doesn't need to be any product um, on it. So instead of using like a makeup spray, using like a liquider spray, a liquider. Uh, why would it be more liquid than than the other one? Yeah, the like the, the the clear ones. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this part together while I'm I'm chatting y'all ear off, and then it's time to do this cute little style. I love this hairstyle. It was so cute and easy. I only had to do everything one time. Like that was like so great because you know your girl be late to everything. You know I was on my way to go out somewhere. And this hairstyle really came in clutch. It was so, it wasn't fast, you know. Definitely, it took me about, like, two hours. But, um, 
the when it came to the style overall like it wasn't too difficult so i think you should be able to do it um right now i just sectioned off my piece of hair i'm gonna do four sections in total and then i'm gonna go ahead and pull out these baby hairs so that they aren't in like in the ponytail once i do my ponytail the ponytail is stuck so i gotta go ahead and pull them out now i'm gonna go ahead and hot comb that down make sure that's out the way go ahead and braid that up so that i don't interfere with none of the other sections and i'm gonna repeat that four times i don't know why i decided to braid this i could have just did a little clip or I could have did a little twist. But I was like, I'm dedicated. Let's braid it for the aesthetic, I guess. Then once I got that done, I'm like, let's show them that I got it done. And then I did I did it again. And I'm going to do it one more time as well. <laughs> Edge fixer. You know how it go. You know what I like. I'm not I'm not a crazy person. I like the, the apple, the cherry scent. You know, that's what I'm into. If you're like a lemony, I could I could respect a lemon scent. What kind of scent you guys like in, in these kind of these kind of things? I'm I'm going for the citrus, I'm going for the cherry, and I'm going for the um apple. Absolutely. What scent y'all like? I know they got like the acai. I never picked that up. I don't know what acai smell like off the top of my head. Do y'all? <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. I'm just a comedian for real. I'm on here being a comedian in this voiceover, and y'all did not even expect that. Y'all thought I was gonna be in here like in pure detail talking about what I'm doing, which I could I could be. So let's go back to doing that. Brushing that, you know, not brushing, this is the comb side, edge, the edge brush. I'm combing that back into the placement that I would like it to be because I'm going to put on my edge brush so I can ensure that the lace lays flat while I'm, you know, rubber banding things. You know, that's how that can also create ripples. So I'm just ensuring that this is just maintaining its, its place. And then I can get to doing what I need to do. So I, online, before I get to doing what I need to do, let's get these hairs on my face. Y'all know how I feel about hair in my face. It be stressing me out. Got my rubber band. I'm going to do this one time. I'm going to go around this hoe a lot of times. But I'm going to get the rubber band on once. And I'm just, I just want to, I just want to thank God. Not only God, but Jesus as well <laughs> for helping me through this. <laughs> and while I'm doing this, I guess I'll just talk about how I definitely need to cut all my hair off. Like, you know how I was blonde for a little minute? That, that like, honey blondes? Um, yeah, I think I destroyed my hair. Like... I'm hot combing this back, by the way. And I decided that I really didn't need to unbraid this. Because, like, I spent all the time braiding it. Then, like, I might as well utilize the braid and just keep it on there. Did my ponytail with it. But this one going to break, I think. Is it going to break? Yep. And then I had to do it again. That's the only thing. That's the only reason I had to start over any time throughout these rubber bands. Like, because it broke. You know, not that wasn't on me. I can't control the rubber band. But anyway, I think I need to cut off my hair because it's just so broken off and just split ends. I don't know who's going to do my hair in Columbus. Like, I really want an old school person, like, who been doing hair for, like, 20 plus years to do my hair. I don't think that's asking for a lot. And I also want her to wash me and blow dry me and give me a trim and give me the best silk purse that I've ever had in my life. But anyway, back to this wig. <laughs> um, I already went ahead and did the two, side, the two off camera because I really didn't want to be on camera like, what the fuck am I doing? I had to fill it out first and know what I'm doing before I came back. So I already knew what to do. Tease that whole back about a good five times. And then I just like position it in a way that's like, I don't know. I just play with it. I had a vibe in mind. I was following the vibe I had. Just playing with it. Doing what felt good. <sighs> that, that. But this is hair. This is my hair. I was, I was playing with the hair. Make, doing what felt right in the hair and you know just filling it out i don't know how to make this sound nasty i'm gonna shut up i just had to run back what i was listening to because it just seemed like i was listening to it so good and it was definitely the dream girl soundtrack sometimes you need to get ready to go out to the dream girl soundtrack because you're gonna love me like what now, this style would not be possible without no bobby pins. Bobby pins are essential. And also, I don't know if you can tell, but I let the little piece out on both of the two middle ones. So that, you know, it framed my face really nicely. And, like, it added some, you know, depth. But I just pulled it out and separated it while I was, you know, playing with it a little bit. And then we're going to do it again. Tease it. Play with it. You know, fill it out. I'm going to stop talking y'all's ear off now. Finally, you get a break from my voice. Free in the locks, you know, letting them loose, giving my hair, you know, seeing the vision. I'm like, yeah, you know what time it is.
it's time to release my head because my head be like, what the fuck is on my head right now? And then it's time to do the baby hairs after I play with this a little bit and bring my pieces to the front so I can see the vision, you know? And I'm liking it. I feel like the one side is a little small, so I ended up fixing that. But I edited that out for y'all because that took a long time. And then I went ahead and finally cut those uh, sideburns. But I did those with a side uh, at an angle scissors cut, scissor swipe. Sprayed it with some Sebastian. Did it to the other side. You know, same routine. Hit the curling iron on them. This is definitely a flat iron. Hit the flat iron on them. All four sides. I th I kind of think I want to go back to doing small baby hairs. Maybe I'll do that. Like maybe I'll like follow a video that I recorded from back when I used to do my hair a little differently and see what I could do to like improve it and like you know I'm I'm down for that. I'm also in this era where I really love adult hairs. I love them. And I also love this new technique I've been doing, so I don't know if I'll ever stop. But I just combed them out first, and then I put the um, the product at the base of it. Not too much, not too much. I have a little bit at ORS, a little bit at Edge Fixer. Both links in my description box down below. Check that out. And also, I'll never be like, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram right now. I never say call to action in the middle. And also, like this video. If you made it this far, like this video right now. I'm, one, I'm being one of those people. If you made it this far in the video, you gotta like it. Like, that's the rules. I don't make them up. That's just what I've been told to tell you. So, you gotta like the video right now. And you also have to go leave a comment. Even if it's literally just like, you can leave a scissors emoji. I don't know what that means, but that's what it's the first emoji that came to my mind. A scissors emoji to let me know that you made it this far. And I would really appreciate it. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush that down and then add the product, comb it back out. It makes the process go by it's so quick. I can't believe I used to spend 10 minutes on my edges. My eyes used to hurt. My eyes don't even hurt no more. Y'all used to be, I used to be like, my eyes hurt from doing this. I'm looking to the side. But, um, yeah, so now I'm feeling myself. Here's here's me doing the other side. But then I went ahead and did a little bit of the concealer left over from my eyebrow brush. What I do to, you know, edge in my eyebrows. Went ahead and added the leftovers residuals on the parts. And that really just brought the whole unit to life. Like, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Like, it just changed everything. Now it's really giving my hair how to get up close for you and show you a, 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 a personal in a slow motion. Looking sexy. Looking good. As I as I should. Serving scalp. Looking fantastic. The skin is on skin. The body is on tan. <laughs> Taking all they men. Even though I like women. Having my hair long. Like my money. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> don't let me up in this too. It, it'd be bad out for everybody involved. Um, I don't. I, I don't know who would be left to compete with me. But um, anyway, that's my hair looking long. Real time, Julia, to come talk about it. I love y'all. Bye. So that's it on today's style. I am a big fan. I'm loving the four little buns. It's real cute. It's giving the vibe I thought I was gonna give. I got these really cute like platform. Flip flops I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna fill the entirety of everything I'm supposed to feel. I'm already knowing. Asteria hair is always a hit. This is a loose wave and it's 30 inches. And I'll go ahead and stand up. I got on black so it's kinda hard to see, but goes to like right here. That'd be all I gotta say is that y'all see what's going on? By the way, <laughs> I spent a whole two hours doing my hair. You you see what the outcome is. So again, thank you to Asteria Hair for sending me this unit and sponsoring today's video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, all the information will be down in the description box for the hair information along with the products I use in this video. Don't be sure to follow me. Wait, don't be sure. Be sure to follow me on all my social media. All of them will be linked down below, and they're all Beauty Via Julia. So I think that's all I gotta say. If you like the video, leave a comment, like it, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, beautiful.